hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be doing my first ever review it has been made by somebody that i've been following for my whole natural journey so yeah anyways the product that i'm going to be reviewing if you guys read the title is the melanin hair care line by whitney and her sister um i actually became natural because i seen one of natural 85's um, what was the, the video? I seen her TWA, like how to style a TWA, and from then on I was fascinated with natural hair. The products that I picked up were her um, Melanin Twist Elongating Styling Cream and also the Multi-Use Pure Blend Oil. Usually I wouldn't buy the oil because I have my I had my own oil blend but since I ran out of it I figured I would get both of these and try them both together. So for this review I'm just going to be doing a simple wash and go. I already have a video of me doing my wash and go and I will link that video up above if you guys haven't seen it. I also have a video on how I maintain my wash and go for six days so make sure you check out those two videos after you see this one. Everybody was complaining about the price of this. This thing was 16, I believe 16.99 and the oil was like 18.99 or something like that. And I will be completely honest, I feel like that is a lot for a product. Even though you do get a lot, like this is a pretty good size. This will last me a while because I don't really use a lot of like heavy creams on my hair. I style my hair one time a week and I'll leave it in a protective style for the week or just one style and refresh it if needed. But I have never in my life spent over like $7.99 on the product and that was the wild hair growth oil. So I'm excited to try this and see if it's like, you know, living up to all the hype. I was so excited to try this. So let's see how it works on my hair. We're gonna start with this. I'm gonna do kind of like the lock method without um, the cream. So I'm just gonna do L for the, the cream, oil, and then my gel. So L-O-G method, I just invented that. So I'm gonna take this much. I think that's too much. Okay guys, so I had to come back really quick before I put my gel on there and tell you the one thing I noticed instantly after putting just the cream and the oil in there is um, my hair does feel really soft just by the way it feels. It's not like greasy. It's like it feels like I have like conditioner on my hair. Um, the areas that I have problems with, with is my ends because I'm in need of a trim but I'm um, waiting until after I give birth when I have like my postpartum shedding and all of that stuff if I even experience it but anyways my frizz in my hair is basically gone and I don't know if you guys can tell the difference but yeah that's just that's just from the cream and the oil so I wouldn't say yet that it's helped with my shrinkage because this is how all my wash and go start off so I have to wait until my hair is done drying but yeah so far i like it we're gonna go ahead and put some gel on see how that feels another thing i noticed is i did not have to come in here and detangle it with my comb my fingers are literally sliding through my hair and i have not detangled it i just washed it with the conditioner and air dried for a second didn't even put a towel on. I just had my hair wrapped up in that bun that you guys seen. So yeah, that's another thing I noticed. My fingers are running through this without me needing to use my comb and that's different. So I'm gonna repeat this over my whole head now and I'll come back.
I'm not sure what's going on with this front section right here. I don't have heat damage because I never straightened my hair. I don't even have a flat iron, but this part right here is a little straight. I'm thinking I put too much gel on it and it's like way down, but it's like straight looking. And I don't understand that. Okay guys, I am finally done doing my wash and go. It took me about 20 minutes to apply and get into every section. Sorry guys, I got a frizzy piece right here. I'm put a little bit more gel up in there, smooth it down. Say no to the frizzy ends. <clears throat> okay guys, so it is now the next morning. I went to bed and my hair wasn't completely dry. So I just put it into a low ponytail, not too tight because I didn't want to mess up my definition on the first day. But now I'm going to take this out and my hair is actually still damp in the back, which I'm surprised about. But um, I'm going to take this rubber band out and shake my hair out. Yeah, the back is still kind of damp, but um, it's definitely crunchy. So I'm going to go in with the, the oil and put that on there to break the gel cast so that it's not as crunchy. don't want to do too much um, breaking yet because like I said my hair is still damp in the back and I feel like if I put my hands in it too much it'll mess it up so I think that's gonna be it for this video my final thoughts right now is my hair feels really soft it's still crunchy because of the gel but I can definitely tell it's softer I'm very happy with my results. Let me get in so you can see my definition. And I like how much it moves. I think that's because, um, one, because my hair's still wet in the back, and two, because the um, products are the oil is light itself because you know it's oil it's oil so it's not really too heavy but that butter like I said I use I mean the butter the cream I use a lot of that cream to make sure um, my hair would stay moisturized and it's kind of heavy because it has shea butter in it which I use shea butter anyways to weigh my hair down a little bit but like my definition. I don't like the way that the front of my hair dried, so I'm probably gonna pull this back like I always do and put a, a thing up in there. didn't really like it because it was so flat but it was long which I like I like my hair to have definition and to be long but I like it when it's like fuller like this because I feel like it makes my face look better I still have a lot of definition and curl you know curl in my hair so that's something I really really like at the end of the day uh, what I would do with my hair is just get a rubber band and pull it back into the whole ponytail one like this and then I just put a stick on my sash pillowcase. I didn't put the cap on my head like you guys seen in my regular wash and go routine because I've been a little lazy but in the morning all I did was fluff it out like this and went about my day and I really 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 like the way that my hair has held up this whole week and I know that it worked for my hair and I think it still looks good to me on day six like it's lasted the whole week and I've been hitting you know, I was looking this side 
back and forth in the pit there and I've been working in the ponytail every single night and stretching your back and it still has a lot of definition. It did get frizzy a little bit on the ends but that's to be expected. It still held up a lot of its curl. So I'm really excited about this product. I think it's going to be a staple from now on in my washing go routine. I think I'm going to wear washing goes a lot more. I hope this video wasn't too long and it wasn't too boring and I tried to get straight to the point. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you get